Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a glowing car clones effect in After Effects. First of all make sure to duplicate your clip and then select a roto brush tool and double click on duplicated layer. Let's roto brush the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Duplicate roto brush layer and then select the bottom one and rename it to clone. Press P on your keyboard and create a position keyframe at the very beginning of your layer. Then go to very end of clone layer and create new default keyframe there as well. Scroll to the middle of the layer now and let's move the position to the left, in your case you can do it in opposite direction. Duplicate clone layer and change the position the same way and on the same layer. Let's duplicate one more time. You can duplicate your clone layers as much as you want, in my case it is enough. Select all clone layers now and press U on your keyboard to see all created keyframes. Select all keyframes now and then hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph. Now make a smooth curve like mine or you can play around with the curve until you are satisfied. Make sure to enable motion blur on all clone layers and then let's check the animation. Everything looks fine to me, now let's pre-compose all clone layers into one layer and we can add some glowing effects over it. Let's add 4 color gradient first. I will change blending mode to saturation, you can change it to whatever you will find better for you, I think saturation looks cool. Then click on toggle switches slash modes and change clones mode to screen. Let's add a glow now, I will use a deep glow plugin. If you don't have it, write me on Instagram and I will send you a deep glow and other plugins for free. Scroll to the beginning now and under a deep glow click on exposure stopwatch icon, then change it to zero. Scroll to the moment where all clones are visible and change exposure back to one. Go to very end of clone layer now and change exposure to zero again. Let's check the effect now. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.